Alright, it is. Finally, here it is. Triple Force Friday. I know it's so bad, but. Anyway, so I'm at Crutchery Valley Mall. I'm at the Disney store right now. Uh, Disney store just up a few minutes ago at 8, at 8 a.m. for on Triple Force Friday. So this store and thinking and I think GameStop also are up here early today at, at um, 8 o'clock for on Triple Force Friday. So I'm going to check those places out while I'm here. Then um, I'll cycle get to a regular store that's not open until 10 a.m. this morning, regular time. So after I've done um, looking around at the Disney store and think eight and maybe gonna stop, um, I'm heading over to a um, Target at Walmart. It's probably about 10 minutes from here and look up there and then come back over here and hopefully the regular store will be open by the end. So as you're walking the Disney store, this is the um, setup for um, uh, Rise of Skywalker merchandise for um, Crypto Force Friday that got set up. So I'll show you this um, booth really quick. So right here they got this hoodie. I really like this hoodie. Let's see how much this is. Let's see. Okay, this is $50. Ready for the fourth, huh? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth is strong with you? <laughs> it is always, no matter what day it is. <laughs> yep. Yeah, stay out of here. Alright, that's fine. You're fine. And for our figs that we are action, sorry, of Life Series. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. So here is the um, Black Four, the um, Black Series um, Wave. and uh, get these here. Here's the Mandorian. I'll show this real quick. So here's the Mandorian. There's the Outboard Jawa. The Ray. There's Kala Ren. There's a Sith Trooper and the uh, Fort Sorter Storm Trooper. Cycle Boy Higgin, the Mandalorian and the Sith Trooper. I might get some more later on, but I'm not really looking to get a lot today. Just a few things and get the rest um, down the road. So, right down here, you got this uh, limited release um, collectible coins. And of course, they're all in the Mickey Mouse ears. Um, Over here, you got a patch set. Yeah, some more patches over here. See, these patches are seven dollars, no, eight dollars. And the patch, let's see, and the patch set looks like to be about thirty-six dollars. Coin set is fifty. I think I have a t-shirt down here. See, this is and this is 23. There's a t-shirt. Got a hat. Then you get this joist head down here with a BB8, R2D2, and DO, the new droid. That is. That is thirty-five dollars. You got this over here. You got this uh, Rise of Skywalker on long sleeve T-shirt. Seven yeah. chairs. That is fifty. No, $65. Now, I'm just going to walk out right here. What are these? You guys, um, these are talking action figures up here on the top shelf. 
You got Boba Fett, uh, Stormtrooper, and Vader. And below this, you got the um, Action Dories. You got R2, R2D2. Well, R2D2 is over here, but BB8. And Yoda and R2D2. Below that, you got a couple t shirts. For Boba Fett. Yeah. Got these figurine sets over here. Oh, they got two separate sets because they usually have one per movie, but they actually got two sets. So they got 144 Sorter and the other one for the Resistance. Damn! I was just hoping to, <laughs> hoping to get one. I was hoping to just have one and get one, another one later on. Now I'm going to get both of them. <sighs> See how much they are. $27, okay. Um, okay, I'll set back over here on the t-shirts. They got this limited edition uh, pen. This for the Mandalorian. That is sixteen dollars. Yeah, some more stuff from kind of Star Wars Advent Calendar up here. It's the Christmas stuff. It's the ornaments and uh, sweaters. Some more, some more T-shirts down here. Uh, shopping bag, backpack. I just got a lot of stuff to get out here from. Rise of Skywalker. I got this color rent um, costume. There's the figurine set where I'll both resistance and uh, force order. And it's push toys down here. You get this child's um, hoodie uh, for the Sith Trooper. And I'll switch back to the other side because that was a store play. Just while I'm trying to get stuff set up over here while I was. Filming it on the other side. Alright, so. Some more of the um, Black Series Troopers, Black Series figures. This is Cal Cassius is from the uh, new uh, Fallen Order video game. And Second Sister Poiser, she's from the, uh, second, from the Fallen Order video game also. So I'm surprised I ain't playing any of the Lego sets out yet. And um, over here is some Mandalorian merchandise. This is a long sleeve t shirt for the Mandalorian. Down there, so over here, you got this um, t shirt over here from the Mandalorian. I always love the t shirt. Let's see how much that is. That's, oh, there we go. Let's see, $35. I don't have to wait on that. <laughs> now, Philip paying $35 for a t shirt right now. But pretty much, I think that's pretty much all they got right now up here uh, for um, for, uh, for the um, for the Rise of Skywalker here in the Disney store. All right, so I'm thinking right now I have this play out at the front of the store. So here's some of the new Lego sets. No, get over here. Um, I'm gonna wait to get these in the Lego store. Love it, love it, love it. Awesome. Got a couple pops up here. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. Gotta say, Wait. it's the first time that we bought a big stack of pops. Let's take our picture. Wait, so this is the last one. Yep. Some Black Series. Yeah, so there's here's the Black Series in the uh, black box. Only someone in the white box in Disney.
like his GM, he showed us a text where his GM was like, okay, this is what everybody wants. So, and the pops here. There's a Calorian yeah, pop. And the Mandalorian pop. And then there's Cal Cassius, um and who's MBD1 pop. Yeah, they just came out. Dude, don't give me a hard time, okay? I'm a store manager. <laughs> and don't give me a just got some pops by the thing is on right here. Now here you got the uh, Calvin's lightsaber, porcelain. Nope. Okay, yeah. here's a couple more things. They think they from Brad Skywalker. So here's a couple pop sets. There's Calvin in his uh, sure cap fire. Right. There's a little something free. You got a pin and a pad for you. There's that. Now Facebook, Instagram. I'm gonna highlight it on your receipt. We do love a follow. And then there's You're a couple of um. We've got an email there. If you can take five Stone minutes. Troopers. Oh no, yeah, it was just called Shred Speeder. Alright, thank you. Thank you guys so much for coming. Appreciate your patience, sir. Thank you for your patience. So, they don't have anything for Ross Skywalker out yet here at Walmart. Or is he this particular Walmart? Especially if you got some stuff on the shelf. So some of the old merchandise still on the shelf. Nothing out yet. That's the only that's the only Star Wars stuff the guy running out of these Lego sets. <sighs> Alright, as I was walking in Target, they have this uh, cart out here. This is over here by the um, Bedding section, can I see it? And by the um, um, toddler infant section. So, they got the um, Black Series um, figures out here on the shelf in the white boxes. Then they got this, um, what's this? This Joy set. This Rise of Skywalker um, Joy set. Uh, might get this. I think I'm gonna pick this up. I'm not sure how much this is. Let's see. There's no price tag on it. Alright, pick it up. They got Lego sets down here. I'll get those at the Lego store in just a few minutes. Go around to their side. Another Lego sets down over here. It's more the Black Series. And yeah, there's Rise of Skywalker, um, Galaxy of Adventures um, figures. I don't really care much for the Galaxy of Adventures line. And then again, there's the Joy Set. I go store right now, so here I see the motion so going for Triple Force Friday. Here I see the new Falcon. Here I see the new Falcon. Here is the new Royal Falcon. $160. I'm gonna get that. Some point. I'm just trying to get it. I'm gonna get that. Well. Four. We also have this one. That's our little one for you. Alright, we're at target number two now. So this one does have a um, big um, ink head display for Rise of Skywalker. So now here is the Black Series figures. And there's 
Galaxy Richards, and West Figures, and there's the Pops. Now he needs a Becca Mystery um, Pops. The right jewelry. So I'm gonna split two jewelries that I usually come out with every about every movie with the family for R two D two and uh, BB eight. And I'm not sure how much he is. So I'm gonna pull it here. There's the whole Star Wars mini and backpack out here. And he got his cap. And both these look like to be for the Mandarian. Down here you got a giant uh, boat vip uh, Funko Pop. Looks like about, he's about $30. Okay, so over here they got some stores. So they got some more of uh, the uh, Black Series. Uh, for Ryan Scott Walker, these are in the black um, box. Let's get this guy. So one guy. So we're in the black casings. And you got more Galaxy of Adventures um, figures. Got they right here. Don't see any vintage. So I wonder if those were supposed to come out today or not. I got D8 Droid here. Some black Hot Wheels. Got a pet swing and a, uh, a pure Star Destroyer. That's good. It's a Tress Beater. So that's gonna be a new vehicle and um and um Rise of Skywalker. There is uh, Coloring's Command Shuttle. And there is the um, A Wing. And these are five dollars each. There's a snow speeder. Snow speeder. There's a tie fighter. And it's bald. Now they have up here for the Hot Wheels. See, okay, there's the uh, trip. Trip speeder down here. But all I got on the shelf. So it is uh, Monday uh, evening now. Um, so I've been um, in Virginia all weekend. Uh, didn't have a chance to um, actually uh, sit down and edit my trip for some Friday video until um, tonight. So I. Uh, this is so I wanted to uh, show you everything I got on Triple Force Friday. Yeah. Here he is. So this is uh, just basically everything I got. Let me zoom in real quick. So starting with right here with the vintage, and uh, moving on down to uh, there's some Lego sets I got. Um, as well as a couple of my black series and some figurine sets and uh, some more Lego sets right here so I'll just go through these individually really quick So starting with the Vintage Collection, um, I got um, five of them, I got them all at Target. I got um, Luke Skywalker, um, X-Wing Pilot from uh, New Hope. Then uh, Rise of Skywalker Ray. Then Rise of Skywalker um, Naya Wren. Then uh, Poe Dameron from uh, Rise of Skywalker. Then uh, Zori Bliss, I think that's her name. 
So I got all five of those at Target. This was actually a third Target I went on Friday. Um, I did not film inside and <laughs> And well, you know, the target I don't film is the target I find my find stuff in. <laughs> but um, anyway, didn't really find. Um, did, uh, I did find my Skywalker stuff in the previous two targets, but uh, I wasn't uh, didn't really find what I was have what I was looking for. Anyway. Uh, but uh. Moving on down, um, I'll get to Lego in just a minute. Um, I'll go to the uh, Black Series. I want to pick up two uh, Black Series. Um, there's a few more I want to get, but I will get those um, down the road. So I want to go ahead and get the Mandalorian uh, Black Series. Here, right here, and the um, Seth um, Stormtrooper. I got both of those in the white box. Now, I've seen. I've seen um, some Force Friday videos where some people got the Mandalorian in like a kind of bronze bo um, box. I have not seen that. I've only seen him in the white box and the uh, black box. I have yet to see the bronze box for the Mandalorian. So uh, I got both these black series uh, figures at the Disney store. Yeah, the Disney store. And. Moving on down, I got um, these two uh, figurine sets, both at the Disney store. Uh, they were twenty-seven dollars each, and I was kind of, kind of surprised they had two of them because generally, uh, every time a Star Wars film comes out, the Disney store will sell one figurine set with figures from that movie. So I was kind of surprised to see two figurine sets for the Rise of Skywalker. So what they did here is they did uh, one set with the uh, First Order and the other set with the Resistance. Now there are a couple interesting things I found in um, each set and I'll show you those um, really quick. Let's see if I can get my tripod down here. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. So if you can see in the um, First Order uh, figuring set, all of the knights of uh, Ren are included. So uh, that's the first time I actually seen all of them. I mean, as figures, but I, I don't know if this is your first time or not, but it's my first time. And I'm um, also including that says, uh, of course, Kylo Ren, a uh, stormtrooper, a Sith trooper, and a um, what, what do you call it? Uh, Jetpack Trooper. And uh, over here in the um, Resistance set, of course, you got Ray, uh, Finn, uh, R2D2, um, Poe, and uh, BB 8, uh, as well as uh, Chewie and um, C3PO. Um, new 2 set, you got the new droid um, Dio and um, you got Lando, um, Zuri Bliss, and Lando's daughter, I forget her name. But a couple of interesting things um, I found in the set is, um, if you notice, Lando is wearing his, um, the same uniform that he wore as young Lando in um, the solo movie. And C-3PO is, has the same, um, same, uh, what do you call it, uh, strap that um, Chewbacca has, and as well as got a, uh, I think that's a crossbow, it looks like a, yeah, crossbow, so I mean he's got uh, basically um, same stuff that Chewbacca has, so I, I'm not sure what that means, but anyway. So I thought those were kind of interesting, <sighs> kind of spoilery, but anyway. And uh, moving on to the um, Lego um, sets, um, I'm sure you've seen all these. 
I got all these, my Lego sets at the uh, Lego store because they were running a special promotion. And, uh, and there was a promotion at the Disney store. I'll get to that in a minute after I got through the Lego sets. So, uh, the Lego sets, um, I picked up the Pisana Speed Chase. Um, I believe this was $40. And it includes a Ray Force Order um, Trooper, a Force Order Jet Trooper, and BB-8. Then moving on here, I picked up the Mandalorian um, AT-ST Raider. Uh, this was 50. Oh, hold on a second, I still got a receipt. This was fifty, yeah, fifty dollars. Uh, so you got the Mandalorian with it. The uh, who's this? Cara Dune. Uh, Cl what's that called? Clitorian, um, Clitorian Raider, and a uh, couple Cl couple Clitorian Raiders. I guess that's how you pronounce it. So I got him, and then on top of that, I got the. Um, Death Star Cannon set uh, that was uh, twenty a twenty dollar set includes um, Obi Wan Kenobi and a um, I guess uh, Cannon Trooper <coughs> um, and uh, move it over here. I got the Resistance Y Wing um, Starfighter. Uh, that was seventy dollars, I think. Uh, yes, seventy dollars. Includes a uh, Ray Zuri, um, Force Order um, Snow Trooper, uh, Astromech Droid, and Dio. And above. Above the uh, resistance um, wire wing is this um, 20th anniversary Bob Indoor set. This was a promotional set, uh, came free um, with any um, purchases of $75 or, or more of Star Wars sets. So um, I have a um, hot set that was very similar to this, that was another promotional set that came out earlier this year. So I really want to get this set. And that's what, that's probably one of the main reasons I want to get all my Lego sets over at the Lego store. So I think, uh, is that it? Okay. Yeah, so that is it for the Lego sets. And, um, uh, got one more thing to show you. Okay. I'll just keep the camera over here. I'll pull these out. Okay, let's see if I can set these up, actually. Okay. Okay. It's out of the way. Okay. It's, uh, okay. So, these three lithographs... Um, I got free at the Disney store. They were a part of a promotion for Forest Friday. So if you were one of the first uh, 50 customers to arrive at the Disney store um, at, when they opened, and you spent $20 or more on uh, Star Wars merchandise, you got these three lithographs for free. So you get one for the... Um, Jedi Fallen Order, which is the new uh, video game coming out from EA. And you got this one, and you got this one from Rise of Skywalker. Then you got uh, one for the Mandalorian. Um, each of these lithographs are um, 11 by 14. So uh, I really like them. I think all three look really nice, and I'm definitely going to um, get a frame for each one and hang them up. Uh, uh, really soon. I got stuff, a lot of stuff I need to get. 
hung up on the wall. Uh, but uh, I found out about this promotion uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I saw the um, prints. I was like, I, I, yeah, I got really get these. <laughs> but, um, so that is it for my um, Triple Force Friday haul. Um, I'll just kind of lay these down real quick and scan through the haul. Got rid of the haul really quick. So yeah, there's the lithographs again. There's everything I got on Triple Force Friday. So uh, I got some other stuff um, over here, but um, I'll save that for another video. Um, that's from um, a couple of stops I did yesterday on my way back home from Virginia. So I'll turn the camera around here. So that is it for um, my Triple Force Friday uh, video. Um, if you went out hunting for Triple Force Friday, I uh, hope you got what you were looking for. Uh, I've heard some people have some bad luck, especially at Walmart, because some of the, like, Walmart pretty, some Walmarts pretty much didn't have anything on the shelf. Uh, of course, I ran to one Walmart, to the Walmart, one Walmart I went to I uh, didn't have anything on the shelf and which I, I don't understand because I know there are some Walmart set up at midnight um, for Force Friday so, uh, I, 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 and they didn't have much on the shelf so I don't know I don't know and I also kind of find that strange that Target did not open at midnight. They usually open at midnight on these uh, Force Fridays for the uh, movie. But they didn't this year. I kind of wonder if it was because of to Toys R Us. Of course, Toys R Us is no longer around and they used to do these um, midnight opening um, big events for um, the Star Wars movies for Force Friday. and. Sis, they're no longer around. I guess that Target or Walmart didn't feel as much pressure to do something. I, I don't know. That's just my guess. But anyway, uh, that is it for this video. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. Um, and also, if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment and also make sure you hit the notification uh, button to know when I upload uh, more uh, videos. Um, I've got um, several more things I need to get up on here. Um, some uh, Halloween merchandise videos. I got a couple of haunts to do this past weekend in Virginia. That's why I was in Virginia uh, for Bush Gardens Hell Scream and um, Kids Me Haunt. And I got another toy hat from uh, yesterday I need to put up. So, uh, look for those on the channel, and I will see you next time.